we say venomous snake, rattlesnake is the first thing that comes to our mind. For the most of us, others cobra or black mamba, but these venomous snakes has different venom. Though each of them are fatal, some may be less painful but fatal. Others are really painful bites. Here are the lists of snakes and their venoms. Hematoxic Venom This type of snake venom destroys red blood cells. It disrupts blood clotting and attacks other types of cells and tissues. This kind of snake bit is very painful. Unlike the newer toxin venom, these kind of venom causes death much slower. Once the snake bites its prey, the venom will run through its body but will still be able to function a little while. These gave the snake the tracking ability of the bitten victim. These kind of venom kills and dissolves tissue including the bone. If untreated, it will cause death. Snakes that has this venom are mainly vipers. Hemorrhagic Envenoming One of the more dramatic consequences of envenomation by crotalid and viperid snakes is the occurrence of hemorrhage. In cases where the envenomation is less severe, the hemorrhagic is generally observed to be localized at the site of the bite. However, hemorrhage can be found disseminated through a substantial area of the involved extremity. Hemorrhagic envenoming and hemotoxic venom come hand in hand in some snakes. These type of venom can cause bleeding to eyes, ears, nose, urethra, mouth, and gastrointestinal bleeding. In cases where the envenomation is severe, bleeding in organs such as heart, lungs, kidneys, and brain may also occur. Snake has this kind of venom are vipers and redneck killback. Meatoxic venom are the venom that kills muscle tissues primarily. It affects the muscles to be able to contract, leaving the prey easy to consume. These venoms are known to cause muscular necrosis. If bitten, the symptoms of this are thickened tongue sensation, thirst, muscular spasms, dry throat, paralysis, and convulsions. It also causes the stiffness of the muscle, and if you try to move it, it will hurt a lot. If treatment is delayed, the venom destroys muscle fibers and enters the bloodstream. Your kidney detects the venom and tries to kick it out, eventually overworks it and gives up trying. Once the kidney failed, the victim will have a dark colored urine. Snakes that has this venom are rattlesnakes and sea crates. Neurotoxic venom This is the venom that we all know and the most dangerous of all. Neurotoxic venom attacks the nerves and the nervous system. When bitten, there will be a little pain, followed by swelling. The muscles of the body will become paralyzed, followed by death due to a failure of respiratory system. Symptoms of the bite will cause droopy eyelids, double vision, and will become sleepy. Drooling and vomiting can sometimes occur. Most neurotoxins are too large to cross the blood-brain barrier, and so they usually exert their effects on the peripheral nervous system rather than going directly on the brain and spinal cord. Snakes that has this venom are cobras, banded crates, blue crates, red-headed crate, coral snakes, and yellow-bellied sea snakes. Cytotoxic venom. This venom destroys tissue and eats its victim's flesh. It kills leaving cells on the victim's body and produces bleeding, swelling, and pain. Snake that has this venom are adders and vipers, spitting cobra, black neck spitting cobra, zebra cobra, and king cobra. The different kinds of venom snakes. Keep in mind that some of these venoms also exist in spiders. Some of the snakes have venom that fall to more than one category. In case someone is bitten by a venom snake, do not, I mean do not suck the venom out and spit it. It will cause you more harm. Others think that slashing the wound and let it bleed more will cause the venom to go out. It is wrong and will just cause it to be more painful. Toxins are already in your blood and destroying each cells. Slashing the bite will not cause it to flush out. Best thing is immediately seek out medical assistance. <laughs>